Okay, well, if you remember my little chant, we should be sort of home free because a log is an exponent. So 4 is the exponent. I have to raise this base 2 in order to get 9. So this is identical to saying that the square root of 3 raised to the 4th should equal 9. Is that true? Well, let's think about it. The square root of 3 to the 4th is the same thing as the square root of 3 squared squared because to the 4th is just squared squared. I'll write that down so you can actually see that. So the square root of 3 to the 4th is just the square root of 3 squared squared because what do you do when you square square? You multiply and you get 4. Well, the square root of 3 squared is just 3, so this equals 3 squared, which equals 9. So in fact, this is really a correct statement, and we were able to see that correct statement just simply by converting this log expression back to an exponent expression. So you can go from exponents to logs, and you can go from logs to exponents. Just by remembering my little mantra, a log is an exponent. Okay, hopefully that gives you a better sense of how the logs work and how they sort of uh, interact with the equivalent uh, counterparts of exponents. Now we'll start to move forward with logs.